Welcome back to Tales From Our Pocket. We are in Brussels today and I am so excited to be here. Some fantastic foods come from Brussels. I love chocolate, I'm excited to eat all the chocolate, but Belgium is known for more than just chocolate. They're also known for their fries, their mussels, their waffles, and their beer. Our mussels are here. All right, let's try them. And we're gonna try all of it today here in Brussels while we take in the sights. Behind me, actually it's sort of off to my right, off to my side is the beautiful town hall with its tower that's over 300 feet high that you can see from multiple vantage points from all over central Brussels. This is kind of a happening place right now. The weather today has been rainy, it's been sunny, and it's neat to see all the people that have come out now that the rain has taken a break. This is really fun. Most of the buildings you see behind me were reconstructed in the 1600s after being destroyed. The number five building behind me is actually an original from medieval times. Let's go get started. Our first stop is a waffle shop. This is our chosen stop for waffles. We are hoping to try two kinds. Belgian waffles, wait, do you call them that? Here? Aren't they all Belgian waffles? <laughs> okay, the place that we're going to is a chain that has multiple locations. The first one had no waffles. This one has waffles, so take two. Okay, so the store worker helped me order and we got two waffles. One is a Brussels waffle and the other one is a Liege waffle. We're gonna try the Liege waffle first. This one he recommended having plain. Oh, it's really sweet. It has like honey around the outside and it's really crispy and the inside is nice and warm. This is like the perfect street food. Just eat it while walking around or sitting. Oh, so good. All right, so the second one is the Brussels waffle. This one he recommended with chocolate and strawberry and he gave us so much whipped cream. <laughs> I managed to get everything onto one forkful, so let's see how this one compares. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to fit this off. Well, that's delicious. I don't know which one wins the waffle contest. They're both really good. We're just gonna have to keep eating while we're here in Belgium in order to discover which one we like best. They're delicious. Okay, we need a break from all of the sweet things we've already eaten, and this is the perfect place to do it. This is a church that's just off of the main square in Brussels, and it's St. Nicholas Church. Although the exterior of it is modern, it dates back in the interior to the late 1300s, but it's been remodeled so many times over hundreds of years that apparently there's this mishmash of styles inside, so I'm really curious to see what this looks like and how it turned out. To be honest, I did not see a mishmash of styles. All I saw was a beautiful church that's been well restored over the years. <laughs> For our first chocolate stop today, because you know, we're gonna have multiples, we've decided to stop at Godiva Chocolates. Yes, it's a brand that we have back in the United States, but this is the very first Godiva shop anywhere. So we have to try it. How is it different from the stuff in the US? Let's go find out. We have our Godiva chocolates in hand. Now we'll see how they compare. What is yours? Mine is hazelnut and it's delicious. Mine is framboise, which we think is strawberry. It's so rich. Oh my gosh. Mine's a mix of truffle and white chocolate. And this is the church where all of the royal families got married and their funerals take place and it's free to go into, so let's go check it out.
the next stop we're headed to looks like possibly one of the prettiest malls that I've ever seen. So I'm really curious to stick our heads inside and see what it looks like. It reminds me a lot of the covered shopping galleries that are in Paris. Plus, I don't see any chains here. No major chain brands, at least not that I recognize. So I tell you back, there are brands that I recognize here and they're the chocolate shops. <laughs> I don't recognize anything but the chocolate shops. But the chocolate shops, I recognize. There's a cafe that I read, it has an Art Nouveau interior and I'm still stalling before our next food stop. So we're gonna just stick our heads inside and see what it looks like. If I was hungry, I would eat here. This is beautiful. Stained glass, look. All right, we stalled long enough. It's time for our next food stop. We are switching now from sweet to savory. We maybe have done this in the opposite direction that we should have. <laughs> there is a place that every time we've gone by it, it has a line out the door for fries. So that is the place that we are choosing to have our Belgian fries, uh, like in a half hour when we're done standing in the line. <laughs> longer than a few minutes later. <laughs> Messy. So we are here at Freeland. The fries, we are told, are double fried in beef fat. Perfectly healthy. I'm sure this is the healthiest thing we're going to have today. So we've got a couple different kinds of sauces. We've got curry ketchup, which I'll try first. Lots of flavor there, nice and soft in the middle, crispy on the outside. It's excellent. We also got something they call pita sauce. It's a little like a tzatziki, but they said it's mostly garlic. Heather's gonna love the tzatziki. Garlic, garlic, garlic. Well, we are getting so full already. Our next stop though, we think is gonna be a pretty crowded one. It's a pretty famous site here in Brussels, a little bit strange. Here's a hint of what we're seeing next. It's smaller than you expected, isn't it? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It is actually smaller than I expected. I expected it to be small and it was still smaller. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which is more ridiculous, the size of the statue or the size of the crowd surrounding the statue. I mean, this is Mona Lisa level stuff here. Although the Mona Lisa comparison is a pretty good one, <laughs> uh, I believe when you go to see the Mona Lisa, it's actually the real Mona Lisa. And that statue is a replica. The real one is in a museum. It has been vandalized and stolen so often that they needed to protect it. So all we get is the replica and it's starting to rain again. Or I got pooped on. Probably got pooped on. Yeah, great. While we were looking at the statue, a group came up to us and for some school project needed to play rock, paper, scissors. Turns out I have a secret superpower. No way! <laughs> uh, yeah. So that was kind of amazing. I don't think you can throw the game of rock, paper, scissors, can you? We're just walking to our next place and we just found the coolest street with the coolest old buildings on it. And all we're doing is following directions to our next place. This is an amazing street and it's pedestrian only too. So cool. Look. We couldn't leave with just having a good diet of chocolate. We are at our second chocolate stop of the day. This is Laurent Jabot, which is the 2021 Chocolatier of the Year. So let's see how they compare to a brand that we can get back home. Let's pop inside. We have 
traveled a little bit outside of the historic center in search of some hopefully non-touristy mussels here in Brussels. That's just kind of fun to say. You want to say it over and over, mussels in Brussels. I have waited a long time to have mussels here and I am super excited to try them. Belgium is known for its fruity beers and it was also recommended to give one of them a try with the mussels. So we've got here a cherry beer, which is very characteristic. It's a creek. I don't remember exactly the word in French, but it translates to sudden death. <clears throat> well, it's really tasty. It's very sweet and it's very cherry. And I'm feeling all right. I don't think I'm gonna die anytime soon. In fact, I might have some more. Our mussels are here. All right, let's try them. They smell super garlicky. We ordered them with wine and garlic and cream. Mmm, <laughs> they're really good. Really briny, nice texture, not rubbery. They're delicious. I feel like it's gonna take us forever to eat this pot though, and then will we be full when it's done? I don't know. <laughs> they're so good. Do you eat them with your fingers? I'm probably doing this all wrong. I'm, I'm sorry, Belgium. This is really good. All the mussels are really good. The sauce is excellent. And we got a little bit of bread here. We're able to mop up some of the sauce, which is really nice. We've also got the pommes frites or frites, frites or fries, which just go perfectly with the mussels and the beer. We ordered just one portion, which was plenty for us to split. We've actually heard that that's, that's typical and the restaurants are happy to let you share. Highly recommend this if you come to this area. Mussels, cherry beer, and fries. It all just went really well together. Delicious. Definitely recommend the Bistro Portahal if you are in Brussels and want to try some mussels. I just can't stop rhyming. And it's okay. right across the street from a great view of this really cool old castle. Now we are going to try the chocolates from the 2021 Chocolatier of the Year. More rhyming. I, I can't, I just... Now we lost track of which one was which, so we're actually just going to each try a half and then treat. So That's the best way to do it anyhow. You get to try multiples. Okay. Mine has a speculose interior. It's more sugary than speculose. That is really different. It's a ganache filling. So the one I had was cacahuete, which is peanut. It was actually peanut butter. It actually tastes freshly made. Heather loves peanut butter. We'll see how this goes. It's like a ganache Reese's peanut butter cup, except better. <laughs> that was really different. It was really good. We have one more stop to make and we have saved the best for last. And then I'm gonna roll myself back to our place. <laughs> We mentioned that we saved the best for last. Here we are. This is the Royal Palace of Belgium here in Brussels. And it is normally closed to visitors, but it opens about five weeks a year. And we happen to be here when they're open and managed to snag entry tickets. So we are going to see the inside of the Royal Palace. This one is actually inhabited by the king and queen of Belgium who live here in Brussels. And that's really unique that we're able to go in and see where they're currently living. I'm not sure that there's another palace in Europe where you're able to do that. I'm so excited to see what the inside of this looks like. If you decide to tour the Royal Palace while you're here, here are just a couple things you need to know. First, you make a reservation online. It's super easy, but they do fill up, so book early. Two, they don't allow large backpacks or liquids right now, so leave them back at the place that you're staying at or in a locker nearby. super interesting. The palace is incredibly opulent. I can't imagine having this be your everyday home and be surrounded by 
the magnificent artwork and these rooms that are just massive in size. They're huge. It's a good gig if you can get it. <laughs> There's a lot of information in the palace about what the royal family has been doing over the years, especially in the 20th century, and a lot of very recent information about what they've been doing during the pandemic and helping the community and, and Belgian society in general. I will say I did not expect it to be a solid marketing campaign for the royalty of Belgium. Everything was incredibly well signed in at least four languages. Yeah. Uh, so it was really interesting to go through. I would recommend it if you happen to be here during uh, the couple of weeks that it's open. And besides, the price is right. It's completely free. <laughs> we have a lot more to come from the rest of Belgium and Southern Netherlands. We hope you enjoyed our DIY food tour today. If you enjoy watching Americans try food from other cultures, we're gonna do that all over the world, so be sure to subscribe. We really do like to eat. Nasi goreng, yeah. chicken rice. All the things, ice cream. Spring rolls, ice cream, ice cream. wine, cookies, beer, donuts, more wine. Learn the donuts for her. More chocolate, yeah. more donuts. Donuts.